Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Field of Dreams. What do you know about this movie? Uh, this won our sports poll. Yeah, so we would like to thank all our patrons for voting for this to win our sports movie poll. And then I think from the movie poster, it looks like it's baseball. And the poster had, I think, Kevin Costner. Yeah. I think that was the name that was across it. So that's all I got. Yeah, so going into this pretty blind, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, I think we need something maybe more feel good after watching Seven. Yeah, Seven was our latest movie. So definitely a nice change of pace. Hopefully, unless this is about a serial killing baseball player or something. <laughs> yeah, so I'm excited. It's always nice to do something feel good on the yeah. channel. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Oh, oh James Earl Jones. Oh. Ray Liotta. I always picture him as gangster crime, yeah. not baseball. <laughs> okay, so it's based off of Shoeless Joe, and Ray Liotta plays Shoeless Joe. Yeah, I definitely thought this was Kevin Costner starring. Yeah. So. My father's name was John Kinsella. He learned to live and die with the White Sox. Died a lot the following summer when eight members of the team were accused of throwing that series. Oh, wow. Dead of Mother Goose, I was put to bed at night to stories of Lou Gehrig and the great Shoeless Joe Jackson. Oh. And when it came time to go to college, I picked the farthest one from home I could find. <laughs> Hippies. The only thing we had in common was that she came from Iowa, and I had once heard of Iowa. <laughs> Stayed with her family as long as we could, almost a full afternoon. Oh. I got married in June of 74. Dad died that fall. Oh, man. A few years later, Karen was born. She smelled weird, but we loved her anyway. <laughs> I love baseball, and I'm about to become a farmer. Interesting. I heard the voice. I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. That was a great intro. Yeah. He's saying until he heard a voice? Yeah. Why does it sound like a horror movie I know. Now? I was just about to say it's like giving me signs vibe. Yeah. This is a baseball movie, right? <laughs> he will come, not yeah. they will come. If you build it, he will come. Eddie, what was that? What was that? That voice just now. What was it? Looking real crazy. We didn't hear anything. So, starting off with a little supernatural element. Kids with a radio? Nope. <laughs> She's not interested. What did it say? If you build it, he will come. If you build what, who will come? <laughs> he didn't say. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. <laughs> An aggressive voice, not even letting him sleep. Yeah. Build what? Hey. It's okay, honey. I'm, I was just talking to the cornfield. <laughs> Losing his mind. I was walking down along the street and I, I heard this voice saying, Oh, is this the guy from uh, Rear Window? Sounds like it. <laughs> She's like, Excuse me. <laughs> Trust me, Karen, it is not funny. Man, it's sick. I don't know what movie that was. I got some errands to do in town. Far out! <laughs> what if the voice calls while you're gone? Take a message. <laughs> you hearing voices? No, no, no. It's just heard that some farmers do, and I, of course, don't. <laughs> Not me. Who's hearing voices? <laughs> Ray is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, no, it's over. Yeah, that darn tractor, uh, I'm just gonna get some three in one oil, and that ought to do it. This voice is going to have to be a little bit more specific. If you build it, he will come. Who are you, huh? What do you want from me? Oh. 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 Giving him a vision of a baseball field? I mean, it is called Field of Dreams. Shoeless Joe? People really are going to think he's crazy. Yeah, having some crazy midlife crisis or something. Well, the voice was much more specific. I never took acid. Well, maybe it was me. It's like a flash forward. <laughs> well, the baseball field out there that shoeless Joe Jackson will get to come back. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever heard. I know it's totally not. She's passed out. He's still dead. As far as I know. <laughs> Are you actually thinking 
of doing this? No. <laughs> yes. I'm scared to death I'm turning into my father. I never forgave him for getting old. He was ancient. And he said he was in his 30s. I know. Oh, God. <laughs> Why did that happen to me? Do you think I'm crazy? Yes. <laughs> if you really feel you should do this, then you should do it. What a, yeah, what a supportive wife. Yeah. How much does it cut into the profits if you lose that much field? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd they call him Shoeless Joe? Wow, oh, making progress. Played the rest of the game just as socks. The other players kidded him. He called him Shoeless Quite the audience. <laughs> they threw the World Series. Gamblers paid them to. Playing the fact that he hit 375 for the series and didn't commit one error. Cute. <laughs> Said he's trying to lose. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Dad used to say nobody could hit like Shoeless Joe. First time I've ever seen you smile when you mentioned your father. Yeah, I feel like this is more about the dad. I have just created something totally illogical. <laughs> That's what I like about it. Am I completely nuts? Not completely. It's a good baseball field. Wow, yeah. it looks great. Kind of pretty, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Now, will the voices leave him alone or tell him to build something else? Oh, he's not even in bed. Any sign? Something's gonna happen out there. That's a big time jump, I feel like. So how bad is it? Ooh, wow. They really did screw up their profits. I'll say we'll probably almost break even. Oh, damn. We can't keep the field? Makes it real hard to keep the farm. Oof. Daddy? In a minute, Karen. There's a man up there on your lawn. Uh, someone came. This is really cool, but also kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put up some coffee. Why don't you go on outside? At least other people noticed. <laughs> other people can see it. Yeah. And it is Shoeless Joe. Now put the lights on. He looks confused too. Well, they said he was dead, right? Yeah. So he's like, what am I doing in a field? Oh, he didn't disappear. Gonna play catch? Dang, he's really just playing baseball with a ghost. <laughs> oh no. The pressure of performing in front of your idol. Sorry. I get some out there. All right. That it's good to be playing again, huh? Getting thrown out of baseball was like having part of me amputated. Especially if you didn't do anything wrong. Can you pitch? Yeah. He's like a little kid. Don't we need a catcher? Not if you get it near the plate, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> I am pitching to shoeless Joe. <laughs> Nice. Nice hit. <laughs> it's like starstruck. It's gonna need to buy some more balls. See if you can hit my curve. <laughs> I'm sure I can. Oh. Ooh. You can hit the curve. <laughs> Put one right here, huh? Wow. Uh. Right, you're a low ball hitter. It was a crowd rising to their feet and the ball was hit deep and a play for nothing. It's my family. I wonder if there's like requirements. I'm always waiting for the camera to cut away from him and then cut back and he's just gone. Makes it harder to see the ball. Yeah, well the owners found that more people could attend night games. Owners. <laughs> Dang, I didn't realize that. Mm. Oh, here's a requirement. Are you a ghost? What do you think? You look real to me. Well, then I guess I'm real. Would you like to come inside? I don't think I can. So you can only exist on the field. Can I come back again? I built this for you. There are others, you know. Oh. You really mean a lot to them. They're all welcome here. Wow, so the eight the players. The ghost team? Yeah. Maybe they can play a real team or an alive team. Is this heaven? No. It's Iowa. We can go that way. Oh, just disappeared into the corn. We're keeping this field. <laughs> Bet your ass we are. You're gonna lose your farm, pal. <laughs> the 
the stupid baseball field is going to bankrupt you. Everybody knows it. Sell tickets. If you sell now, my partners will give you more than fair price. I mean, it's I. You never liked Iowa. That's not yeah, true. Just, come on. <laughs> How could you plow onto your major crop? What's a crop? <laughs> Daddy, the baseball game is on. Excuse us. Are they just out during the day? I think that's a good idea. Sell tickets. Oh, they're coming. They're like, what? <laughs> Gonna need a whole team to play against. I know. Good left fielder knows what pitch is coming. He can tell from the angle of bat. Ball's gonna be <laughs> Nice. You to run like that against Detroit, I don't want 20 games that year. <laughs> Thanks, Jacoby. That was 68 years ago. <laughs> Muscle bound shirt. At least I got muscles. Come on, asshole. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry, kid. <laughs> Mom and everybody's leaving now. Are they not going to notice? So I thought you two were going to watch some game. Because it's not really a game. It's more like a practice. They can't see it? But his family can see at least. Eight of what? Wow. Well, you don't see him? Karen, honey, uh, what are you watching? The baseball man. Oh, man. Well, there goes a the ticket idea. Try to make other people feel stupid. You don't see these people? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God his family can at least see. This is really interesting. Or maybe they only want to show themselves to certain people. Yeah, people who like baseball. You must keep in pretty good shape. Uh, let's see, I died in 70. <laughs> I haven't had a cigarette in, what, 18 years? <laughs> it's pretty good. You don't smoke, do you? No. <laughs> Yay! Dinner! Yay! Dinner! <laughs> dinner! <laughs> <laughs> Just teasing him. See you, guys. Man, just his own personal ghost friend team. At least they have a good sense of humor. Ease his pain. What? Ease his pain? I didn't understand. What? Ease his pain. Ease his pain. He already provided him a field. Who's pain? Thanks a lot. And who's talking to him, you know? Yeah. The only thing I can think of is giving him a redemption game against the same team in the World Series. But no one can see him. <laughs> What happened to you? Voice is bad. Oh, Lord. You don't have to build a football field. <laughs> Ease his pain. Shoeless Joes? One of the other players. I don't think so. Ray, this is a very non-specific voice you have. <laughs> I was having a fun day today. You know, a good day. I'm sorry. <laughs> and filth like, like this has, has no, no place, place in our, our schools. schools. Burn the books. <laughs> Fascist. <laughs> Is hardly smart. smart. Classic novel about the 1960s. It's pornography! <laughs> Man is a Pulitzer Prize winner. He's a pervert. Probably a communist, too. What planet are these people from? <laughs> right. Godlessness, the mongrelization of the races. <laughs> Right-thinking school boards have been banning this man, S-H-I-T, since 1969. Because he masturbates. Oh my gosh. The devil. While other people were chanting, burn, baby, burn, he was talking about love. I experienced the 60s. I think you had two 50s and moved right on into the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Plowed under his corn and built a baseball field. Uh-huh. The weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> the whole town. Honey, it's all right. I'll be cool. <laughs> he is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. Oh, man. <laughs> Biggest horse's ass in three counties. You do you want to step outside? <laughs> Fine. All right. Who wants to burn books? Sit on the Constitution of the United States of America. Anybody? <laughs> Real quiet now. Freedom is a pretty darn good thing. Come on, let's see those hands. <laughs> oh yeah, me. <laughs> Stand up to the kind of censorship that they had under Stalin. I love you. I'm proud of you. Hey, I mean it. Annie, you gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Figured it out. God, it was just like the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> so high energy. <laughs> I know whose pain it is I'm supposed to eat. Wait, I just halted the spread of neo-fascism in... <laughs> I don't know. I just know. I mean, I was right about... The writer? Yeah. He's my favorite writer, too. But what's Terrence Mann got to do with baseball? 
character that man created 26 years ago is named John Kinsella. My father, you drive. <laughs> so he's still alive. Terrence Mann? Yeah. Yeah. The earliest recurring dream was to play at Ebbets Field. I still dream that dream. That's sad. So he has a dream of playing baseball. What he missed was baseball. You're supposed to take him to a ball. Yes. At his field. It's pretty weird, I'll grant you, but building a field, that was weirder. <laughs> I feel it as strongly as I've ever felt anything in my life. I dreamt last night you were at Fenway with Terrence Mann. Whoa. Halfway up on the aisle? Yeah, you were keeping score and eating I was eating a hot, hot dog. dog. I had the same dream. Okay. <laughs> She's in. I mean, after the big first Supernatural event, you got to just go along with this at this point. But they still need to find a way to pay their mortgage. <laughs> Maybe this will somehow lead to money. I don't know. Maybe Terrence Mann will pay for stuff. Hi. Hi. Maybe he had the same dream. That would make things easier. I have to take you to a base. <laughs> All right, stupid. Put your hands up and get in the trunk. <laughs> That won't work. I don't know where he leaves to get away from me. <laughs> All right, she's not a snitch at least. Two blocks down, right hand side. First door that don't have a chicken in the window is his. Is that the doorbell? <laughs> oh. oh! I totally forgot his name was in the <laughs> intro. My name's Ray Kinsella. <laughs> Should have practiced more. Can't give up that easily. We got a learning disability here. I just want to be left alone. So piss off. <laughs> oh, wait. All I'm asking is one minute. One minute. Oh, he got in. And the universe opens itself up. Oh my God. You're from the 60s. <laughs> Ow, oh, hey. <laughs> what the? 60s. Wait a back. second. There's no place for you. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. You've changed. Yes, I suppose I have. He does need help. Yeah, he does need to ease his pain. Come on, go back. It's just gonna be like, get in the back of my car. <laughs> oh. Oh, it didn't close properly. Yeah, that is the last one left. Get in. Oh. Is he no. really? <laughs> There's no way he's really going with this. Really pissed me off. Okay, just hold it. I was hoping I wasn't gonna have to do it this way. <laughs> Gun, what do you think it is? It's your finger. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. I just need you to come with me for a little. What are you, what are you doing? I'm gonna beat you with a crowbar. <laughs> Can't do that. There are rules here? Oh no, there are no rules here. <laughs> You're a pacifist! Shit! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I was hoping I could just convince you to come with me. So you are kidnapping me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Take you to a baseball game. Something will happen there. I don't. I don't know what, but we'll find out when it does. You're seeing a whole team of psychiatrists, aren't you? <laughs> I swear to God, I am the least crazy person I have ever known. Then why are you kidnapping me to a baseball game? Because I hear voices. <laughs> I read an interview you gave about how you always dreamed of playing at Ebbets Field. I never said that. Huh? And why go through with it? It's a long story, but it's a really good story. If you just come to this game with me, I swear to God, I will never bother you again. Not even a Christmas card. <laughs> Unless you want one. Wow. He probably still thinks he has that gun. So what do you want? I want them to stop looking to me for answers. No, I meant, what do you want? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dog and a beer. Should be entitled to as much privacy as you want, but why stop writing? To a lunatic like you. <laughs> Think what happened if I suddenly came out with a new book. That's true. Go the distance. What the heck? Go the distance. No one else has seen that, right? I don't think so. What's the matter? You didn't see that? <laughs> see what? I'm sorry, I guess you didn't have to be here. Fine, let's go. Oh. Yeah, he was probably having a good time. I didn't notice what it said fast enough, so I'm not even really quite sure. It was like a name and a location, I think? What is it you're not telling me? I've already taken up too much of your time. Now he's so invested. <laughs> yeah. You got another message, didn't you? You think I'm crazy. I already think you're crazy. <laughs> said the man's done enough. No, it didn't. <laughs> it's, 
He's not done with you Moonlight now. Moonlight Graham. Ooh. Did you hear the voice too? It's all right to admit it. It's what told me to find you. Did you Did you hear it? Go the distance. Oh, he did hear it. Do you know what it means? It means we're going to Minnesota to find Moonlight Graham. <laughs> Road trip. Mine. <laughs> what do we do? What do we, what do we do when we find him? How the hell am I supposed to know that? <laughs> he heard the same message. <laughs> Bitching. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Annie's gonna be like, where are you? <laughs> I'm with Terrence Mann. Oh my god, you kidnapped him. <laughs> Look, Ann, I gotta go, okay? Someday explain all this to me, okay? <laughs> She's the best. Yeah. Oh no! You got no choice in the matter. <laughs> Her brother sucks. Yeah, what the hell? I think his nickname was Moonlight. Well, that's not the name. Baseball career never amounted to much, so he went back to school. He died in 1972. Oh, man. Yet no child was ever denied these essentials, because in the background there was always Dr. Graham. Oh. Ticket to the ball game found their way into the child's pocket. Wow. You're a good writer. So are you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can come onto the field if he's a ghost. He always wore an overcoat, and he always carried an umbrella. Do you know you're missing? Notified police after receiving no answer to repeated telephone calls. Shoot. <laughs> what did I tell him? <laughs> Quite a story. Something about going the distance has got to factor in. Yeah. Oh, the Godfather. This year's. Did he just go back in time? Did he just like walk outside and now he's in the past? Is this the year he died? I think so. Oh, the umbrella. Are you Moonlight Graham? No one's called me Moonlight Graham in 50 years. Do you mind if I join you? Let's walk over to my office. It was like having this close to your dream and then watch them brush past you like a stranger in a crowd. Wow. You know, we just don't recognize the most significant moments of our lives while they happen. There'll be other days. I didn't realize that that was the only day. Mm. That's sad. Yeah. What's so interesting about a half an inning that would make you come all the way from Iowa? Could you have a wish? And are you the kind of a man who could grant me that wish? If it's baseball. To stare down a big league pitcher. Just as he goes into his wind-up, wink. Make him think you know something he does. <laughs> <laughs> to feel the tingle in your arm as you connect with the ball. To run the bases and flop face first into third. That's my wish, Rick and Silla. It's a great wish. Well, sir, there's a place where things like that happen, and if you want to go, I can take you. Oh, this is when he dies, though. No. God, they did consider it a tragedy. If I'd only gotten to be a doctor for five minutes, now that would have been a tragedy. I better be getting home. At least you'll think I got a girlfriend. Maybe we're not supposed to take him with us. Maybe he'll come on his own? Yeah, I don't know. If he got in a hit, he might have stayed in baseball. That's true, being a doctor in this community. I talked to the bank. They own the paper now. And he says, if we don't sell to them, they're going to foreclose. Wow. I'm going to Iowa with you. We're coming home. Please have some money. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta see this ballpark. Not everyone can see it. Give it a try. I mean, he heard the voices. I need all the car I can get right now. <laughs> Could this be Moonlight? How far are you going? Iowa. Well, if it's okay with you, I think I'll just ride along a while. I play baseball. That's gotta be Moonlight. 50 years younger. I heard that all through the Midwest, they have towns with teams. They'll even find you a day job so you can play ball nights and weekend. I'm Archie Graham. <laughs> Don't even say anything. What happened to your father? He never made it as a ball player, so he tried to get his son to make it for him. American boy refusing to have a catch with his father. Why 14? That's when I read The Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all coming back. What kind of crap people always have to lay on me. I'm... It's not my fault you didn't play catch with your father. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when I was 17, I packed my thing, said something awful, and left. Made it back to the funeral. All of this just has to go back to his dad. What was the awful thing you said? Never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. Then why did you say it? I was 17. Just to piss him off? Son of a bitch died before I could take it back. This is your penance. So the least you can do is bring back his hero. Now I know what everybody's purpose here is, except mine. I mean, his book influenced him to not go forward with baseball. 
That's cool. This is Archie Graham. He's coming to practice with the team. Well, he's going to be able to do a lot more than that. There's way more people now. All right. Welcome back. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that shoot is Joe. Oh, he can see him. I mean, you didn't believe me? <laughs> oh, my God. He's walking off the field. I think, oh, no. He's yeah. still on it. I'd like you to meet Shoeless Joe Jackson. Joe? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many guys wanted to play here. I mean, had to beat him off with a stick. <laughs> the Ty Cobb wanted to play. None of us could stand a son of a bitch when we were alive, so we told him to stick it. <laughs> you came to play ball, didn't you? Yes, sir. Oh, man, knew he was coming. Oh, that's awesome. Rookies. <laughs> Rookies. Oh, Save! Here we go, Moonlight. Got a wink. Yeah. Archie! God, he looks like a baby out there. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a wink. <laughs> oh! Hey, hey! Hey, Knuckles, what do you throw at the kid for? He winked at me. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing for you, we didn't throw the fastball. <laughs> All right, he got it out of his system. Yeah. Let's go, come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Hey, um, come hey. on. <laughs> How about a warning? Sure. Watch out you don't get killed. So what do you think the next one's going to be? Either low and away or in my ear for low and away. All right. Watch out for in your ear. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> All right. Hey! <laughs> All right, Archie. Hi. <laughs> hey, it's time to put on your little fantasies and come down to her. It's not a fantasy, Mark. They're real. You mean? What was this? As a matter of fact, it's Terrence Mann. How do you do? I'm the Easter Bunny. <laughs> you can what, live on it rent-free as long as you want. What about the baseball? Field? Ray, do you realize how much this land is worth? They don't give a damn about you, and they're ready to foreclose right now. We don't have to sell the farm. Did you get a bunch of yeah, money? What does she know? People will come, so they'll drive up and want to pay us, like buying a ticket. Oh, so it is maybe just select people can see. Why would anybody pay money to come here? To watch the game. <laughs> It'll be just like when they were little kids. What the hell is she? <laughs> we got no choice. Ray. Come on, Terrence. They'll come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. It's only $20 per person. They'll pass over the money without even thinking about it. It's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Ray, just sign the papers. These birds are so loud. <laughs> They have reserved seats along one of the baseline and cheered their heroes. I like how they all stopped playing. It'll be as if they dipped themselves in magic waters. That's worth 20 bucks. You sell now or you lose everything. The one constant through all the years, Ray, has been baseball. This game reminds us of all that once was good and it could be again. I mean, how could you not listen to that speech? You will be evicted. So tired of this guy. I know. I mean, if he loses the field, they lose the field. Come on, Ray. None of these baseball players have money stashed somewhere that they can let him know about. I'm not saying. Oh. All right. You turn your daughter into a damn space. Get your case. hands off! I'm trying to help you, damn it! <gasps> what? Is she breathing? Should I get the car? Oh, a doctor! I'm gonna call emergency. Anyway, this is why he's supposed to be here. Oof, chills. Yeah. Just wait. He's gotta choose between baseball and being a doctor. Whoa. What do we got here? <laughs> she fell. <laughs> this guy's like, where did this guy come from? Steady now. Hot dog. Stuck in her throat. Thank you, Doc. No, son. Thank you. Oh. 
God, you can't go back. Yeah, I figured he can't. I best be getting on home before Alicia begins to think I gotta do it. <laughs> Good work, Doc. How's it going, Doc? Don't miss you, Doc. Wouldn't work for me one day, would you, boy? When did these ball players get? Oh my God! Now he can see everyone. Hey rookie, you were good. That's all he needed. Do not sell this farm, Ray. You got to keep this farm. <laughs> I'm so sick of this guy. <laughs> I know, right? You better pay for everything, Mark. Pay you for some. Killed their daughter. <laughs> we're gonna call it a day. See you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Hey, do you want to come with us? Is that possible? No, not you. Him. What is out there? Come and find out. He's not dead, is he? Well, Wait, you wouldn't be here I'm for what? Test. You have a family. I know, but I want to know what's out there. But you're not invited. That's my corn out there. You guys are guests in my corn. What are you saying, Ray? What's in it for me? <laughs> is that why you did this? No. There was a reason they chose me, just as there was a reason they chose you in this field. But you were kidnapping me at the time, you big jerk. <laughs> well, you lied to me. <laughs> you said your finger was a gun. <laughs> There is something out there, Ray, and if I had the courage to go through with this, what a story it'll make. I mean, it probably is better to send the writer, but I'm just concerned. I just hope he doesn't die. Right. Is he already dead or is this going to kill him? Harry's been invited to go out with the other players. How you feeling, sweetheart? <laughs> I want a full description. Take care of this family. I hope he comes back alive. I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> Give it a good look first. <laughs> what are you grinning at, you ghost? <laughs> if you build it, he will come. Is this his dad? It's my father. Ease his pain. Go the distance. What do I say to him? Just go play catch or something. Oh, that's true. He never got to meet her or his wife. I'm John Kinsella. My wife, Annie. This is my daughter, Karen. Hi, John. Well... <laughs> so beautiful here. Well, for me, it's like a dream come true. Can I ask you something? Is this heaven? It's Iowa. <laughs> is there a heaven? Oh, yeah. It's the place dreams come true. Maybe this is heaven. I like that. It's his heaven. Good night, Ray. Good night, John. That was super sweet. I, I wish he could apologize for... Hey, Dad? Oh. You wanna have a catch? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just the fact that it all came back to just him and his dad. Oh, look at all the people coming. Holy crap, that's so many. Both directions. What? <laughs> Where are they going to put all these cars? I'm going to need to get the players back. <laughs> yeah, they better come back. All right. That was Field of Dreams. What'd you think? I loved it. I really wasn't sure what to expect. Obviously, we knew this was a film about baseball. I didn't think there was going to be anything like supernatural about it. So I just kind of assumed it was like a small town baseball like story or, yeah. or something. So that like blew me away. Yeah, because I mean, the baseball was important, but it was a backdrop. I feel like everything was, you know, the wishes of people pretty much. I mean, everyone yeah. wished for something different. Uh, Ray wish that he could, you know, go back and take back the things that he said to his dad before he passed away. And, um, you know, you have the baseball players that just wanted a shot at redemption for the gambling situation. Archie, the doctor, wishing he had just one chance to hit a ball from a big league pitcher. Mm -hmm. It was about the dreams, not about the baseball. And I like that it was about family. I loved Ray, Annie, and Karen. I feel like they were such a great family. Annie and Ray were such a fun dynamic. <laughs> yeah, Annie was just like a fireball. Like she was just so like a 12 out of 10. <laughs> Yeah, no, she was awesome though. I loved her. I loved that she was such like a free spirit. She enjoyed the 60s and then she was outspoken. She wasn't afraid. Super supportive. Yeah, extremely supportive of Ray, even when it sounded like he was going <laughs> insane. Karen was such a sweetheart. 
Yeah, she was a great little kid. It was just so heartwarming to see. And obviously, Kevin Costner was fantastic. Oh, yeah. I feel like James Earl Jones, though, is just like... He stole the show yeah. for me, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Ray Liotta was great, too. Yeah, that was like a nice kind of surprise because the only things that we've seen Ray in thus far are like Very mob. mob. Although when they were talking about the fake gun and it cut to Ray and he kind of smiled, I was like, <laughs> of course he would appreciate the, the gun aspect. Um, but yeah, no, James Earl Jones as Terrence Mann, that was some of the greatest dynamic in the movie between him and Ray. Yeah. Especially that whole like kidnapping scene was hysterical. That was awesome. Their their whole first encounter was awesome. And I was not expecting him to essentially become his partner. Partner exact yeah, exactly. I'm concerned D does that mean he's dead? I mean, I'm just going to say no cuz I, I was already sad. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I'll go with no. I'll go with he got to go hang out in heaven for a little bit and he comes back the next day and yeah, tells everyone about it. Because, like, he wasn't alone. Like, when he went missing, his dad was calling looking for him. So it's <laughs> he wasn't just, like, some lonely guy. Right. I was afraid of, like, some story of him just being, like, dead in his apartment this whole time or something like that. Yeah. We'll go the very positive route that he comes back alone live with some amazing stories and he continues to write. Yeah. You know, we had the awesome Moonlight Graham story. I loved that story. Yeah, I love that too. Like it was very cool that, you know, he didn't want to leave. Um he didn't want to go with Ray. So he ended up staying and then they just get to meet young Moonlight, actual Moonlight Before. versus Doctor. Yeah, Doctor. Yeah, Doctor Graham. And he was just like so happy and like full of life and he just loved every second of that. I mean, they're all calling him rookie. Yeah. And just to watch him get to live out his dream, which was so funny that he he like winked. And a ball came straight at his face. But, and it was literally because he was like, well, he winked at me. Like, <laughs> yeah. why did he do that? Everyone was like, don't wink, kid. <laughs> so I loved that. That was one of the best moments for me was, I mean, that was such a drastic turn for Karen to just start choking and like being oh, like yeah. unconscious. But when it cut to Moonlight, it was such a special like moment. Um, just got chills for sure. Because in their previous conversation, how he talked about it would have been a travesty if he was only a doctor for five minutes. Like mm -hmm. being a major league baseball player for only five minutes. Sure, I, I wish I could have done more, but that's not what my purpose in life is. It mm -hmm. was to be a doctor and to know how much he affected that community by being a doctor. So when it cut to Moonlight, it was like this moment of clarity for him to be like, this is who I really am. Yeah, this is what I was meant to do. Yeah, I was meant to be a doctor and save lives. And when he transformed over into the older doctor, that was just such a beautiful scene. I loved it. Yeah, no, me too. And then he got to repeat the same line that he said when he wasn't going to go with Ray. It was like, I gotta get home to Alice, I think. <laughs> yeah, Alice, she's gonna think I gotta have, have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, so I loved that. And then obviously the end, seeing Ray get to reunite with his father. I mean, throughout the story, it really did seem like everything was going to be leading back to his dad. Mm -hmm. You know, Shoeless Joe was his dad's hero. The Terrence Mann book, even though it's not Terrence Mann's fault, but the, that book was a starting point for the tear and their, I guess, family. Yeah, and Terrence Mann wrote the book with his dad's Name, name as a character. Which they didn't go into further detail, but that was definitely an interesting connection. Mm -hmm. And then when they talked about Archie, about him wanting to go to like towns and play on uh, baseball teams and get paid like other job stuff and how Ray was like, oh, my dad used to do that and stuff. So everything connected to the dad mm -hmm. and for the reveal to be that the catcher was his dad, I assume the catcher was his dad this whole time. Mm -hmm. That was just, it was beautiful. Yeah, and they had mentioned earlier on that when they didn't have a catcher, they right. were like, oh, do we need a catcher? And they're like, well, we don't have a full team yet. So that was really cool that he kind of got to come in and that reveal, all of it. And it was just so heartwarming, those moments, those last moments with Ray um, and his dad. And I was unsure how he was going to approach it. 
Uh, I'm glad that he was able to, you know, introduce his wife and kid. Mm -hmm. I was in the middle of saying like, oh, this is amazing. But I wish you would say like, hey, you're my dad. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for what I said or like, I, I love you. You want to play some catch? And I was just about to finish that. And he was, you know, Ray kind of screamed out, hey, dad, you want to play some catch? And it's not like his dad was like, whoa, I'm your dad or something. Like, I feel like he knew all along. Mm -hmm. It was just letting Ray kind of guide that mm -hmm. whole situation and let him be in control of that moment. Yeah. So to end the movie on just them playing catch, just something so wholesome between a father and son. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. Yeah. No, I loved it. I think that this is exactly what we needed to watch. <laughs> yeah. Still brought tears, but it was it was happy tears. Yeah. We haven't seen a movie this hopeful and fulfilling of dreams and positive in a while, yeah. I feel like. So this was definitely a nice change of pace because um, everything was great about it. I mean, it was very funny and it was also kind of like a cool mystery too. Yeah, just kind of putting everything together, like what is the connection here? And then uh, when Annie's brother, I think it's Mark, he like couldn't see the baseball field. So it was like, what, why? Right, why, what's going on? I I'm glad at least Ray, wife and daughter saw, or else this story would have been way different <laughs> if he was just like losing everything, all of the money in the farm. And even his own family was like, what are you doing, man? Yeah. Um, so that was great that they could see. But the unraveling of the mystery, I mean, we essentially had some baseball moments in the beginning and then we really stepped away from that for a while to kind of go on this really exciting road trip movie almost. Yeah, getting the, the journey through gathering everyone that they needed to get Terrence, to get Moonlight um, and get everyone back there. It was just a very wholesome movie. And I, I had a great time watching it. Yeah, me too. So, I mean, we haven't seen very many sports movies. I mean, we've seen a few, but I mean, clearly based off of our list, we have a ton more to kind of cover. And I feel like this is, I would assume this is our first like sports themed, even though it was much more dream themed. Uh, this is one of our more sports themed movies on the channel. I guess besides the boxing films that we've seen. That's we true. Raging Bull and the Rocky series. Yeah, we have seen a lot of boxing movies. Mm -hmm. So forget everything I just said. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we have a lot of more kind of wholesome or uplifting sports movies to cover, which I'm really excited because this was a really fun treat to kind of sit down and enjoy this, especially after the hellish nightmare that was seven. Yes. Yeah, this is exactly what we needed after seven. And I'm excited to explore more. I don't know a lot about sports, but I like these films because you don't really need to. Right, yeah, no, it holds your hand or it's not necessarily about that. And mm -hmm. this was a perfect introduction for our channel, I feel like. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, Peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.